this may look like a trailer for a new hit movie. Instead, it's for a novel. 30-second films posted on websites is one way publishers are fighting to get people to buy more books. This is the uh, Pizza Pilgrim's interactive e-book. Publishers are finding ways to make books more interactive. It has various features that the book doesn't have. Tick off the ingredients as you use them, add them to your shopping list. With greater competition from large numbers of self-published authors, major companies are using their big budgets to reclaim the initiative in the digital revolution. E-books are an important part of what we do, but it's also about all these other platforms that we can, we can show our content on, that we can tell stories on, um, that we can, we can get our content discovered on, and indeed monetize it for our authors. Um, and I think that the, the publishers who really understand that and if you like, move from being just book publishers into being multimedia content producers as well are the ones that will succeed. Of course, even with all the new social marketing techniques available to publishing houses, it's not going to take away from some of the old favourites, like authors' signings. There we go, thank you. Older marketing techniques, from word of mouth to newspaper reviews, still help sell books. And that'll continue even though digital books are growing fast. For the moment, the physical book market is still larger. Claire Alexander is a top literary agent. She thinks that major publishers will have to do more than rely on marketing techniques and interactive books. In the internet, everything is equal. Um, and maybe the reason people buy a book is chiefly price or brand. Um, in the absence of those two things, what you need is a recommendation. And actually at the moment, publishers have forgotten to be the recommender. With more and more books out there, I think people might be prepared to pay a little bit more for something that has the imprimatur of a trusted publisher. Simply hold your smartphone over any of the images. With your if the major publishing houses have their way, you may need a tablet, computer or mobile phone to get the most from books in the future. Page seven. When I look at this picture, I think I wonder what must be going on inside his head. They're hopeful that that and their experience can help them stay ahead of the tsunami of self-published authors. Philip Hampshire, BBC News.